don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'm always show Yeah, you know I had to do it. Come on now, you know I was gonna do it. But what's up guys, Master Styles here, back with another Eternal Evolution video. And originally, before I went onto the Facebook page, I was actually gonna just talk about the new SP hero. But apparently he's coming to the game tomorrow. So there's gonna be an update tomorrow morning to the game and a new SP hero will be added, Purins, banners coming out, all of that fun stuff. One thing worth noting, the devs are going on vacation. So they won't be back until the 19th. So whatever issue we have within the next week or so, we're gonna have to deal with that. So one thing I noticed that when I went into the Facebook group that the time on this change, I don't know if it's now gonna be one week, because if it's one week, you're only gonna be getting these rewards once a week. So now you'll be at 12 versus the 24 that I was saying in my previous videos. Don't blame me for that because somebody in the Facebook group blamed me for that happening. I have no control over that. If I had a control over anything, I would definitely not be doing that. I would increase ancient altar levels. That would be the first thing I could do. I would do if I gain control over this game, but I don't have the power to do that. So one thing worth noting is that Hell Arena, the shop is updated, right? The shop is now back live. The first thing I do, I, I don't know about anybody else, but this is what I'm doing. I'm picking those up. I'm going to need all 32 of those, right? Let me get that going. So I grab those right away. I am saving up for this trophy here because I'm going to need it now that it's the bigger cluster in endless battles and the competition is a lot more stiff. Normally I would grab these, but I am saving for the bigger trophy. So I have to hold on to that. So let's, let's, let's hop over here to the other SP heroes and see what I have so far. So let's go into recruit. I have 84. That's nothing. That's literally absolutely nothing for Caraxia. I'm pretty, I'm done. I'm not investing anything more into her. I'm just done. I I've gotten to the point where I'm not, I'm just not. If I get a couple extra shards of her somewhere along the way, then I'll do, I do it that way. But as for me going in there and summoning for her, I'm done. Artemis. I didn't even, I just got the copy because again, for endless battles, she was just a stat stick. I put her in there because you know, the new SP hero is going to be worth 20% of your points. And normally one copy of these heroes, they don't really do much. You need at least four to five copies of an SP hero to start seeing what they can really do. Then I don't make content about SP heroes because again, as you can see from my Raxia here, it took me so long to even get her to legendary that by the time I got her there, there's no point in even making a video about it. So generally I try to stay away from making SP hero videos. So there, that's the best that I could do in terms of get gathering the resources needed to actually summon for the SP hero. And again, if you want to ball out and get the new SP hero to max on day one, Hey, Kudos to you. I am not going to do that. I'm going to do my 84 here and that's going to be it. Once those 84 are done, I'll try to get a copy before the start of endless battles and I'll end up using him as a stats thing. That's my goal. That's kind of how I go about it. And then depending on how good the new SP hero is, I'll try to continue to proceed to farm some of those astro tickets and try to pick them up. But other than that, that's where I'm at for SP heroes. I don't, I don't have the same sentiment people have when they see SP heroes come into the game, because just think about it, right? Let, let, let's go into hell arena real quick. So I'm ranked number four. And as you can see here, cross, he has Caraxia maxed out. Of course, you can see it. It's glowing. So let's, let's go. Let's go in here. So this guy, he has a max Caraxia. That's one. 
You don't see no Artemis. This guy, exactly. Not even Max. I'm looking at the higher people here. Yep, Max Caraxia, right? And interestingly enough, if if I'm gonna use this, this is how I would utilize Caraxia. If I'm using Caraxia, and I'm not gonna run Rickard with her. I'm gonna run Caraxia, Helentis, and Sam. Because again, adding Sam would make it an AOE assassin team. That way you your opponent wouldn't be able to use summoners to beat it. Right? No, you wouldn't be able to. So this is the best person here. Is it? Is it the best person? So we're gonna go against this guy. So let's see. He has Graxia here. My summoner's already there. Perfect. I don't think we can win that. I don't think so because again it's over 10 million but we'll see you also have tanks i know what can beat that summoners and so there's two ways to go about this my energy team can beat that tank team my energy team can beat that summoner team so i have to figure out what i want to do i know my assassins where's my assassin team oh here okay so let's see now nope too far here okay all right so how do i go about this this is not the right team let's vanguard my energy team access to a switch here we want them there tanks versus summoners we're gonna lose that i'm gonna end up losing one of these Cause it's something, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. That's ready. Okay. So again, like I was saying, is that I was gonna tag this guy just for the just for the video, and the chances are I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't. But I don't really see too many maxed out Artemis. So when I hear people say, "Oh, you know, SP Hero is gonna break the game," blah 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 blah, all this you're not you don't see them that much you don't you rarely you know you'll see a couple of caraxes but most of them are low level in a, a few people in hell arena yes they'll have max out caraxes but you can beat them this new new guy listen i don't know he's he's, he's definitely broken based off of this kit so we're gonna run this one real quick and i'm looking at it's either gonna go two one three or two two so here, this one is a little scary because Purin is dead and we definitely lost. We're going to lose this one. Yep, we lost. We lost this one. So there we go. Not looking too good. I told you, it's either going to go 2-2 two, two or 1-3. So energy team beat their tanks as expected. And we destroyed their energy team, which makes sense, right? That makes perfect sense. I could have did that the other way around, tanks versus tanks, but sometimes, you know, it's hit or miss, especially when Pan Pandemonium is Immortal 5, it's a little tough. But I already knew that my energy team would be able to beat his tank team, because if you watch my video, you already know that my energy team is going to destroy the tank team. And we didn't even have Pyrrhon. Right? There was no Piran on that team. And normally in the arena, I run Piran. So if it was Piran, it would be even quicker than that. So again, I just wanted to show you, yes, we lost with the Caraxia team because again, it's just too much. It's too much to deal with in terms of what my summoner team has. There are ones that I beat. I've beaten Caraxia teams, but that one may be more max. It's maxed out. It's over 10 million power. So I didn't expect them to beat it, but what I'm saying is that my point is that, yes, there are Caraxias out there, but at the same time, they're beatable. See, this is the this is the Caraxia team I would be running right here. Boom, like that. This one, how do you, how do you combat this, right? Caraxia is great at those higher levels, but you're not going to run into it too much. Let's, let's go to the lower ones. See, you don't see Caraxias. You're not going to see no Caraxias. It's just a... The whales, the occasional whales here and there. Like this guy, we already checked. He has Caraxia. If you're over 30 million, this guy most likely has Caraxia too. Yep, maxed up. Mm -hmm. But again, it's normally the whales. 
And for me, I'm cooling right now. I'm cooling when it comes to being in legendary. I'll slowly but surely get my rewards that I need for getting my trophy. And that's my goal is to get that trophy. Everything else is a byproduct. But again, let's just go over because apparently the game is also being updated, but there's things that are going to go live. So let's just hop over to here. What is the Valentine's Day event? The annual grand Valentine's Day event is about to begin. We have prepared a wealth, wealth, huh, interesting, of Valentine's Day gameplay for you. Hearts, treasure. In this event, you need to use a special Valentine's Day item, Cupid's Arrow, to draw rewards. You can choose two favorite rewards on each floor of the rewards after drawing all favorite rewards on the floor you can choose to go to the next floor immediately or continue to draw all rewards on this floor before going to the next so it's similar to that of the other the other event that they had where you pretty much do the drawings and you get everything um it sounds very interesting so they all also have you can challenge a boss in a daily instance to get event items you challenge a boss so basically you challenge a boss to get event items roses and roses which can gift it to your favorite heroes what does that mean every time you give a gift you will get a love chest when you accumulate gift reaches a certain amount you can get valuable rewards the hero with the most gifts will be sent as a reward to all players participating in the event after the event ends. The hero, wait, what? It said a hero with the most gifts will be sent as a reward to all players participating in the event. So wait, 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 wait. All right, guys, let, let's let's huddle up here. Come together. Come together. We, we, we It sounds like we'll be able to get a free hero so if, if there was any free hero in the game we would want i doubt they'll do sp so I, let's not that's a pipe dream okay don't even think about that right if there was any hero i would say that i would want Ooh, that's tough man that is tough endless battles valentine's day will start obviously mm -hmm. there are a lot of boss stages for you oh so they're gonna go back to the the one that i actually like the grouping is different so it's multiple different bosses within the endless battles versus the typical one where you have three three uh bosses and they rotate this one's gonna be multiple different bosses throughout the event so very interesting there and of course you know new sp hero will be added to the game also a new a new prototype so it's a combination of the the tank the tank prototype, right? I think so. The tank prototype had the ability to increase healing and shielding. So it says the mythic divine prototype, God's protection. At the start of battle, all allied vanguards gain a shield equal to 50% of their max HP. What? And all the shields and healing effect they receive increase by 15% for 30 seconds what and then you put you put impulse of annihilation <laughs> with that what yo that is crazy oh my goodness vanguards are gonna be crazy so that means that we need, we're gonna need a new tank to counter all of this right we're gonna need a new tank in the game which is going to be very interesting. So let's go over here, collect that. And Galactic Bounty is still going. I missed that one by accident. Details gathering is almost done. And let's run this real quick. I don't even use Graxia in here anyways. But but again, the game's gonna be updated tomorrow, just so you know. So if you wake up in the morning, if you wake up that early to play the game, you'll wake up to a new update.
So here, this one could go by quick, but it's just the interfaces that gets very annoying. And yeah, see, he could be, he would have been dead there, but I do like Ahsoka though. Ahsoka is very good. And that's what I like. I like heroes that you don't need to get them to a mortal five to see what they can do. She's just a, a beast at that. Okay. She's just a beast at immortal. So I can only imagine what an immortal five version of her look like. What I do want from this. No, not endless battles. Interestingly enough that it's up. Wait a second. I actually want to go back and go read that. Let me do the spin and then we'll go back and read that. When does that endless battle event start? And we get nothing. Nothing. Red runes. We'll take that. I do want this up here. The Mars. That'll be nice. I'll take that. But uh, let's see here. Let's go back down to that real quick. Because it's said here. Go back here. And this. Oh, this. Oh, okay. Okay. So. So since they're going on vacation, I guess they're going to do all the updates early and they won't come back until February 19th. Again, a lot going on in the game. Hopefully they fix whatever this is and it's not once a week because if it's once a week, that's going to be annoying. And I messed up here. I literally messed up on this boss because I let time expire with Piran and Fiona in there and that won't happen again next time i'll bring in what's his name daniel to help out with that state so now i know going forward i know nate you had that one good for you kudos to you you got the first place because i'm done i don't have anything else unless somebody else comes in and pass me but that that was me i messed that up on my own but new sp hero coming to the game I thought I had more time to save up more of these, but I don't. And I'll do some summoning for the new SP hero. And that's that. And also, Piran's banner is coming up on Thursday. So, two days from now, Piran's banner should be here. I need another 10. Actually, I think based off of my free to play account, I completely forgot to do that. Did I do it yet? No. Make sure you do these because I, I completely forgot that this is here, the story. Cause it doesn't like it doesn't have the red dot so i completely forget about it right i don't remember it because it's down here so just do this pick up the extra 10 tickets and before that it was a copy of bato so i gotta remember to do this so i can get that additional 10 and i think that's all i will have to do to, to do the summon and for me i hope i get tachikoma i hope i get tachikoma that would be nice because i need a few copies of tachikoma to get him to immortal and get him going but yeah new hero still here if you want to pick him up go for it and um this is the other so this is the other question i have to ask myself do i want to get this because i'll have enough do i want to get this here um if i get that right now then let's go back here so if i get that I can bring this guy to, it was right there. I can bring him to Awakening 5, but I'm also sacrificing 40, 40 um, limited tickets. I have a decision to make. Go there, go to recruit. Nope, I was in the right place. Go to here, collect this. Oh, you're like, wait, where are you gonna get it from here? Yep. And eight, yep. Okay, perfect, perfect. Love it, love all of it. Just increase the levels, please. Please increase the levels, man. What? Let's see where we're at. Yeah, 47, boom, right? Just like that. So, like I said, I can drop that 40, right? Get that and bring Leo to Awakening 5 or save it. I don't know yet. I don't know what I want to do. Because also Purin's banner is coming. And then the next week after that, there's going to be another new hero. So got some decisions to make. And like always, if you're new to my content and you want tips and tricks about improving your account, this is the YouTube channel you want to subscribe to. And for those that's been rocking with me, 
hit the like button to help out with the algorithm. Until the next video, peace.